Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing more Discord submissions. I apologise, I haven't uploaded in the past three days or so. I'll be honest, there wasn't a lot of content out. I tried playing this one game called uh, Mr. Tomatoes and it just didn't vibe right, I guess. It didn't feel right. But yeah, now there's a lot of content out. It's usually the way it goes. So there's either nothing or there's everything all at once. So The first video we're going to be looking at was submitted by Valox and they seem to have moved on to sister location now, which is very interesting. This tape shows one of the maintenance shifts I had to perform below ground, working on both the fun time and circus animatronics. Okay, be sure to go subscribe to Valox. Every creator you see today will be linked down below in the description in the order that I watch them. Go show them support, show them some love, and let's jump in. Here we go, baby. Here we go, another shift. Another shift, here we are. Crumbs, crumpets and tea. Jesus, how shaky is that? Oh, I guess it makes sense because you're going down and it's kind of... Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Chicken sing, chicken dance. Shut up. No, we're not doing it. Actually, it's more... To be fair, this is where I should be doing that. Circus maybe. Chicken sing, chicken dance. Here we go. Chicken hit the gritty. Okay. They couldn't have just inserted normal doors, could they? Nah, they couldn't bite. Yeah, that is a bit weird, actually, now that you say that. Like, why are these, why has he got to crawl through stuff? Who designed this place? Right. I think it's pretty cool, though, still. Because it's, it's, it's the games that we're seeing, but it's from the perspective, it's a different perspective. Like, as if... Let's so turn on the light and see if the light is on stage. Let's get started then. Are they going to be hanging? Right. Like in the game? Is she there? Okay, of course. Yeah, right. Oh, she's not there. Excellent. Let's see what Much Fun Time Foxy is up to. What is Fun Time Foxy up to? Foxy. He's not there either. Right. Where's Baby? Oh dear, he's not coming. Uh oh, that's straight ahead, isn't it? Oh, you bastard! Why would you do that? The guy obviously made it out alive, though. If he's saying, "Oh, uh, you know, I this is something I recorded," very nonchalantly, by the way. That was awesome, Balox. You got the great work, man. Moving on, guys. We have an analog horror here called "Become Conscious." This was submitted by Ich Gehir Im. Here. Ich Gehir. Ich Gehir Im. I don't know. I'm butchering that. There's a way that you say that O, and I always butcher it. It's called "Becoming Conscious," and this is by Dahlia's Storage. So. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyrighted work. Hello and welcome to your first day being conscious. Yeah, Our baby. Arrived at different times. Stuck in the matrix. The matrix has got me. For all humans. So do not be worried if you have become conscious earlier than others. Mm. We hear it. Redacted. Hope you put the following information into practice. Sorry, surely you'd know who you work for. Uh, I guess on the tape you can redact it. But the person watching this would know what company they work for. They're not just going to go into some building and be like, oh, well, here we go. Now, listen closely to this instructional videotape we have provided for you. Mm -hmm. And remember to smile. I'm not good at smiling. I have a resting bitch face. Now that you are aware, there are certain steps you will need to follow in order to live a good life. Okay. Step one. Practice self-care. This is important, you will guys. Now be able to identify unclean hair, skin, etc. Okay. Step nice. Three, keeping your home livable. Mm -hmm. When your home is dirty, clean it. When something in your home is broken, fix it or get it fixed by professionals. Yeah. Keeping your house in good shape will keep you from unwanted stress. So far, so good, guys. I give them good tips. Step three, get a job. All right. No matter how old you are, you will need money in order to survive. What? Helping your mother with chores around the house, or helping dad in the garage will suffice if you are young. Okay. If you are older, get a real job. <laughs> real jobs include. But I feel like I'm. This is a. This is a show at me. What? Are not limited to retail, architecture, and accounting. Mm -hmm. 
Step four, kill yourself. Right. Uh, it was going well. It was going super well up until that point. Um, why would why would you follow the first three steps and then do number four? May, may, okay, we need to uh, talk about this. Avoid overthinking. Okay. Overthinking Here we can go. lead to adverse health effects such as paranoia, depression, and believing that. Do you think he's the thinker, guys? Life is not real. That was a joke. He's thinking. <laughs> Someone stuck a finger up his ass. Side effects of being conscious may include existential dread, anxiety, the feeling of being overwhelmed, confusion. I was uh, I was having this conversation the other day. Why is it that there's underwhelmed and overwhelmed, but there's not just whelmed? I think a comedian said it on a talk show, but someone asked me the same question, and it got me thinking. Like, yeah, that's um, that's weird. Depression. Suicidal thoughts, restlessness, exhaustion. I don't think I want to be conscious of the, this. This is all the side effects. Existential dread. Existential dread. Existential dread. Existential dread. Existential. Uh oh. It's a carousel. Of course, it's this song. Daisy. I don't want to be here anymore. Nice. Jesus Christ. Bro, he looks... He looks like someone tried to draw me unsuccessfully. Becoming conscious is no easy task. Mm -hmm. From getting a job, to getting a car, to getting a house, to paying for your car and house, yeah. to raising a family, yeah. to supporting your family financially. It's a, there's, there's a lot of pressure on young people nowadays. It can be overwhelming. Mm. But do not worry. Though you may be in debt for the rest of your life, you can look forward to death. Yeah. That's, it's always, the, you know, that's you always on the back burner, guys. You can happy memories you will make throughout your lifetime. We hear it, redacted. Hope you enjoy your newfound consciousness and look forward to educating you with our next videotape entitled Death after death. Right, fantastic. So it's not the end, is it? Created by, written by, and branded by Dahlia. That was Becoming Conscious by Dahlia's Storage. So this next one was actually uploaded today as of recording this. It was uh, premiered. Uh, it's only two minutes long, but it's another video by Mob Entertainment. They've been doing this whole kind of VHS analog horror series. See what we've got. Bigger Bodies Relocation Guide. Do not continue viewing this tape. What? Well, why make it then? Bigger Bodies Relocation Guide. Playtime Co. Employee Training 6. Step 1. Retrieve Giant from Storage B. Oh god. Flashlights on. St oh, wow. how was that even stood up? Step two. Safely secure the giant. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Freaking Hannibal Lecter. Okay, yeah. In the event of restraint failure, observe bigger bodies contingency plan. See Platon Co. policy on bigger bodies acceptable use of force in emergency scenarios. Step three: load giant onto train. Damn. Step four: consult the what? Loosen the straps binding the giant. Five, inform the conductor of the intended route. Isn't this where the uh, the last chapter of Pop Playtime ended? 
but there was a crash. Step six, release the strap binding the giant. Okay, well, someone really wants us to release this thing. Look at it go. The next light is gonna be gone. Oh, never mind. Step seven, release the straps. That's just, that is just like, you know that, it's just the equivalent of when everything in your life is going crazy and you're trying not to have a mental breakdown. And you're like, this is fine, everything's fine, and you're literally on a train, tied to a plank, going 100 miles per hour, and you're about to crash. Oh god, what happened? What happened? Footage missing, oh that's not good. Well, here's the thing, that the other one escaped, so was that before this one, or after that one? I, I'm not sure on the dates. Well, there we go, guys. Something bad is happening over at Poppy Playtime Incorporated, or what, whatever the hell's going on. And this last video is by a creator, by Omicade Bozo. Oh, that last video was uh, submitted by Fizzaroli, the one and only. Uh, this video was submitted by Mr. Chaptic. Corrupted VHS was found at a garage sale in Nevada, California. The VHS will date back to December 20th, 2011. Four more VHS, each one will be uploaded soon. This has like uh, urban spooks kind of vibes. History of the damned. Chong Wayne Gazy was an extroverted construction worker who was interested in politics and even worked as a clown for birthday celebrations. He's he a wasn't a clown. No. Gazy was arrested in 1978 when a 15 year old kid who was last seen with him went missing. Okay. It wasn't the first time relatives of missing boys pointed fingers at Gazy. But it was the first time a fish really? took their concerns seriously. Jeez. Soon after, authorities were permitted to entry to the Gazy residence, where they smelled roughly 30 bodies. Jesus, who, who have you got on your team? A bloodhound? Are you all dogs? Made in a four foot crawl space beneath his house. He was found guilty of 33 charges. Is this true? Murder as well as rape and torture, and was killed by lethal injection in 1994. Damn. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy relished the attention his killings brought him, and many people- I never understood the whole Ted Bundy thing, because you see him in documentaries and that, and the women were like, his looks and charisma really, and you look at him and he's like, Bro, what are you talking about? He looks like a Neanderthal. Maybe back in the 70s or whenever it was, this was considered good looking. United States were ready to give him that attention. The Western United States was his hunting zone, with an undetermined number of killings, usually of college-aged women, stacking up from Washington and Oregon all the way to Utah. This just feels like a document. Is this going to be... Like, is this going to link in somehow? Because this just feels like an, uh, an educational documentary. In Colorado, mm. Bundy was captured and convicted of abduction in Colorado, but he escaped and moved to Florida, where Jeez. he killed several times more. Bundy's ultimate arrest and its aftermath captivated the nation as the alleged killer functioned as his own lawyer throughout hmm. what is thought to be the first <clears throat> televised murder trial, encouraged interviews, and boasted of the admirers he had made. Yeah, that's very strange. Jack. Jack. He's Jack. We call him the right. Ripper, although yeah, we have no idea who was behind one of the oldest and most renowned murder sprees. What's going on with the in voice? In 1888, the murder emerged in London's Whittakapel neighborhood and murdered and mutilated five people, all prostitutes. Never the found. The killer was thought to be a surgeon, 
Butker or someone proficient with a scalpel. I'll tell you what, it must have been so easy just to kill people back in these times, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't mean to think like a psychopath right now, but if you were to kill someone, right, in these times, you would probably get away with it 99% of the time. If you got caught, then you're just an idiot. By mailing letters explaining the crimes, the killer insulted the community and the police. Despite the fact that several suspects have been named throughout the years, the killer has never been identified. The sole form of identification obtained by the police was from a letter labeled From Hell. Hmm. There's a film called From Hell, I think, with Johnny Depp. Okay, well, this is the made up one, Jackson Spring. Jackson Lark, number one. I finally got a day off. The NPD needed extra help dealing, okay? And since it's Christmas time and more and more people are stealing, some brig even stole Jamie's bike, but the school doesn't have cameras looking at the bike racks. So it's just a lost cause. Me and Amanda will probably buy him a new one for Christmas. Anyways, the city of Nirvana has had rain for 16 days straight, which is good since California has been in a drought for God knows how long. But today, it finally stopped. So I decided to take a walk in the woods behind our house. I decided to take my camera to see if I could get a photo of some of the baby. Jesus, dude, how how fast do you think we can read? Baby deer that I that lived back there. Sadly, I didn't find Bambi, <laughs> but I did find an abandoned house. I had no clue it was there. Oh damn! Okay. I decided to see what was inside. That was a bad idea. The second I stepped through the door, I got hit with the most foul stench. It was stomach churning. All of the rooms were empty and were covered in empty beer cans, food wrappers, and even condoms. Sounds like a good time for me, brother! You know, no, no, hang on a sec, let's shit sick bastards. But then I found the statue. Hang on a sec, let me go back. Okay, well, it just sounds like a squatter at the minute. But then I found the statue. Oh dear. ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、ちょっと見ると、
and it leaves a lot to the imagination. I think that 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 kind of stuff is the best form of horror for sure. But there we go, guys. That was today's video. Be sure to go subscribe to all of the creators in the description down below. Show them some love. Go like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff. If you enjoyed my reaction to this content, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe to me? And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.